This is Afghanistan, a landlocked mountainous country in Asia. For centuries, this land was a crossroads between empires and was repeatedly invaded and occupied because of its strategic location. Evidence of this history is manifested today through Afghanistan's ethnic diversity and its many languages. The modern boundaries of Afghanistan were established in the 1890s through a mutual understanding between the Russian Empire to the north and the British Empire to the south, sealing Afghanistan's status as a buffer state. Today, Afghanistan borders Pakistan, Iran, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, and China. In the 1920s, King Amanullah began a modernization campaign, but his efforts met heavy resistance. From 1929 to 1978, nearly 50 years, Afghanistan experienced a mostly peaceful period. In 1978, the Soviet-oriented Communist Party took power through a coup d'etat, during which President Mohammad Daoud was killed, along with his family. On Christmas Eve 1979, in an effort to save the communist Afghan government, the Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan. The Soviet invasion stirred anger in the West and throughout the Islamic world. The emergent Afghan resistance, known as the Mujahideen or Holy Warriors, received massive support from the United States, Pakistan, Iran, Saudi Arabia, France, Norway, and the United Kingdom. The Mujahideen fought the Afghan government and the Soviet forces throughout the 1980s in a war that left hundreds of thousands dead and millions displaced. In 1989, the Soviet Union withdrew its forces from Afghanistan, signaling a victory for the West. The end of the Cold War brought any remaining Soviet support to an abrupt stop, and Afghanistan was left on its own. The Afghan government and military broke down leading to different factions joining Mujahideen parties along ethnic lines, which led to a period of civil war. In 1994, a new movement known as the Taliban emerged, bringing with it a brand of Islam based on a strict reading of the Quran, preoccupied with its implications for law and order. Their practices included archaic punishments and the exclusion of women from education and the workforce. By 1996, the Taliban controlled most of Afghanistan. On September 11, 2001, nearly 3,000 people were killed in an Al-Qaeda terror attack in the United States. The Taliban had hosted Al-Qaeda in Afghanistan. In response to the attacks, the United States took the lead in a military intervention. The Taliban regime collapsed within weeks. But Osama bin Laden, al-Qaeda's leader, would elude U.S. forces for nearly a decade. By the end of 2001, Afghan groups met in Bonn, Germany, negotiating a peaceful transition with Hamid Karzai as interim head of state. The Taliban were not present. By 2004, a new constitution was adopted and Karzai was elected president. By 2006, the Taliban had made a violent comeback, increasingly turning to improvised explosive devices and suicide bombings. In 2009, US President Barack Obama announced the surge, a new plan to strengthen US military efforts in order to weaken the Taliban and prepare for a political solution. Two years later, in 2011, US Special Forces found and killed Osama bin Laden in Pakistan. President Obama announced a massive reduction of U.S. troops in Afghanistan. In 2014, Afghanistan's opium production reached a record high, fueling corruption and lining the pockets of both the Taliban and government officials. In February 2020, the U.S. and Taliban signed an agreement in Doha, Qatar, the U.S. would ensure the withdrawal of international forces if the Taliban guaranteed there would be no terror attacks staged from Afghan soil. The Afghan government argued that they, 
as the legitimate rulers, should have been the ones negotiating with the Taliban. Four months into his presidency, Joe Biden announced a full military withdrawal by September 11th, 2021. In the summer of 2021, the Taliban made massive military progress, triggering a collapse of the government and its military. On August 15th, the Taliban took control of the capital while the world watched the chaotic evacuation at the Kabul airport 